Hey, what's going on guys? Hope everyone's doing well and safe with what's going on in the world. Uh, this week, I am finally able to show you guys what's going on with my 25 gallon cube. Now this 25 gallon cube is my discus pair that I've been trying to breed for a while. So what I did two months ago was I decided to swap out the substrate because the substrate was kind of being depleted and it was about three to four years old anyways. About two months ago, I had some time off uh, from work that I have taken and I decided, you know, it was a great time to just go ahead and swap the substrate just because I want the tank to, to be healthy throughout the year and I don't want to deal with it being uh, deprived of nutrients in the substrate. So for the time being, I moved the discus pair outside in the garage so that this tank can actually recycle. After a swap of the substrate, it took about three weeks to fully cycle. There was a lot of ammonia, uh, especially in the new substrate, so it just leached and leached and leached a lot of ammonia. But the reason why it took two months to actually put these fish back into the tank was because of the plants. The plants actually took a huge hit and pretty much everything melted back except for the swords. In addition to the substrate, which was a mix of EcoComplete and ADA Aquasoil, I also swapped the Kessel uh, LED into a Radeon XR15 Pro. I wanted a light that was a little bit more programmable, uh, easy to control with my phone, and also the, uh, a little bit more intensity when I actually needed it. I felt that the Kessel did pretty decently, uh, but even at full intensity, it wasn't producing uh, the spread and par that I wanted. Also, if you guys did notice, I did take out the breeding cone for the tank. I wasn't having any luck at all with the breeding cone and the breeding action, so I'm just going to you know let the, the fish do its thing. I'm just going to enjoy the fish, and if they breed, they'll breed you know somewhere in the tank. I think the focus for this year for this tank will be keeping the fish healthy and happy, and also trying to grow some healthy plants. Now this tank is very basic. The only livestock I have in this tank is the two discus pair and some snails that just basically help with the substrate aeration and some of the algae on the wall. Now on the sump, I haven't changed the lighting or anything in the sump. It's still used in the Kessel A80 uh, LED. The only thing I added it down here was a couple of mono shrimps, which is two mono shrimps to help control the algae. There's really just nothing down here that's stopping the algae from growing, so the Amano Shrimp will help, you know, kind of maintain that and maybe munch on some stuff down here. Alright guys, and that is the update for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you guys just subscribe. And like always, until next time guys, peace.